So this video is going to be about how I'm making a um, crankshaft for a small internal combustion engine that I've started. The engine is going to be a two-cylinder horizontal four-stroke gasoline engine or internal combustion engine. This is the uh, work that I've done so far. This is the engine frame and the cylinder block. Uh, here you can see the bore bores of the cylinders. These are 7 eighths of an inch diameter bores. Um, the frame is made with um, cold rolled steel angle iron and it's been cut and shaped to form the sides, the bottom, and this plate in front. The cylinder is made out of aluminum. So uh, this is the um, this is the crankshaft blank that I've uh, that I've made so far. I've uh, started out as a piece of uh, hot rolled steel, half inch thick, uh, one and three quarter inches wide, and five inches long. I uh, cut the uh, crankshaft to rough shape uh, after laying it out uh, on my metal cutting bandsaw, and I drilled uh, center drilled both ends and I've begun shaping the two mains, uh, main journals uh, on my metal lathe. These are, these are going to be 3 eighths of an inch diameter in the finished crank right now. I've turned them down to a, a tad less than 7 16 The uh, crankshaft will sit in the engine frame thusly and you can see that the throws will be 180 degrees apart. So <clears throat> To turn the uh, to turn the crankshaft journals or the connecting rod journals requires off-center turning. Uh, this will be one journal here, and the other journal will be here. So to mount this in the lathe, I've made this fixture. This is a, a two-inch diameter made from a two-inch diameter piece of cold rolled steel. It's about uh, five eighths of an inch thick or so. Uh, the center hole isn't required. It was already in the piece, the scrap piece that I was using, so that's why that's in there. This piece here is, uh, uh, this hole here is cut to be just a tad bigger than the um, turned mains journals. And then this slot was milled to accept the um, web of the crankshaft. So this will uh, fit in here like this. Uh, that's a pretty snug fit. And then there is a um, set screw on top, grub screw, which um, will tighten down on the main shaft and hold the uh, hold it secure. Now that puts this crankshaft or connecting web, sorry, connecting rod journal on the center of this round piece, which will be uh, chucked into the lathe. So stand by, and I'll show you that part next. So here we are now at the lathe. Uh, I've got my four jaw chuck mounted on the uh, spindle of the lathe right here. This is a six inch chuck and uh, should be uh, adequate for the job. Um, the um, crankshaft with its fixture will be chucked into the uh, four jaw chuck like this. I've made this uh, split ring. Uh, this is just an aluminum ring that's uh, made a two-inch diameter ring with a split in it so it can compress. That will go in to the lathe behind the fixture like this to give me something to press up against so that uh, I can fasten that, uh, get that nice and straight uh, when it's mounted in the chuck. So I will uh, tighten that up with a chuck key at this point. Get this nice and centered and then uh, do this. So now I've got it mounted but I need to uh, center the fixture on the lathe axis uh, since the four jaw chuck is not self-centering. I'll, uh, I'll have to get that centered <clears throat> using a uh, DTI dial test indicator which you can see I've got on the back of the lathe there. So um, <clears throat> let me uh, reposition the camera so you can see that a little bit better what I'm going to be doing. 
So here hopefully you can see the gauge and you can see the uh, chuck. Uh, you can see right now the needle in, on the uh, DTI is sitting at about plus five. And if I rotate this around uh, to the uh, other side, you see it's about a minus five. So at this point, the idea is to loosen this jaw on this side, tighten the jaw on this side so it moves the piece to the other side uh, by about five thousandths of an inch. So let me see if I can do this from this angle. We'll first uh, loosen this side over here. We want to hold the piece in the chuck so that it uh, stays straight. Uh, let me get my fingers out of the way here. So now we'll tighten that up and there you can see we're going just a little bit past zero. And then we will uh, tighten this in part and bring it back to about zero. So there, that's um, pretty close. Now we'll spin it and see if, um, we'll spin it to the other side and see how, how straight we are. Pretty close. Now we'll go to this side here, which is at 90 degrees. And you see that's a, it's a little bit on the plus side, so we'll need to move that piece back uh, to the, toward the front of the lathe by a couple of, by a couple of thousands. That should be set to zero as well. So we'll, uh, we'll just uh, tighten this up to where that pushes it back to about the zero point, maybe a little past, so that when we tighten this side up, it'll bring it back to zero. There we go. So that piece now should be centered at zero. Let me uh, just make a quick check. That's right at about zero. That's a couple of thousands proud couple of thousands under so we'll tighten this piece over here just this side just a little bit to bring that back up to about zero and that should put it exactly centered so let me move my dial indicator out of there so we get that out of the way put that back up there now, uh, let me move the camera just a little bit. When I spin the lathe, it should show that this part of the web right here is about is on the center of the lathe. So that's how it is. That's how it sits, and that's how we're going to turn it. Uh, the outboard end you can see isn't attached to anything, but the part where we're cutting is pretty close to the chuck, so the overhang should be fine. So uh, let me uh, shut this video down and uh, we'll pick up again where I'm ready to start turning. All right, got the camera set up on a straight down shot now as we uh, get ready to go into uh, the turning of this. You can see it, or maybe you can't see. Let's see if I can zoom out here a little bit. Um, I guess not. I've got the um, cutting tool, uh, which is this part here, uh, has, has to have kind of a reach to get past this piece of the crankshaft here and get to the part that we need to turn. So I've got this cutoff tool I'm going to use to turn with, and it's mounted in my uh, milling vise, which is attached to the cross slide so I can crank it in and out. Uh, I'm going to be changing tools. Uh, at some point probably to uh, get a little better finish on it, but let's see how this goes. Let me go ahead and spin her up here and we'll give it a shot. need to raise that tool just a little bit. I don't believe I have it. I can't tell for sure. Well, actually maybe I need to lower it just a little. So let's take it down just a little bit and see. 
can see it's begun uh, rounding that off. So we'll try it again now, taking it a little bit further. You see we're almost into uh, a round piece at this point. Uh, I feel like I need to uh, tighten up the gibs on my lathe here just a little bit because it's uh, cranking a little bit too easy. So we'll uh, tighten these gibs up just a little to uh, see if we can get, a, get it a little bit more solid and not quite so shaky. Doesn't take much. All right, let's try it again. I'm going to turn the speed down just a little. Or turn it back up. Move it over a little. And do another pass. I think that's more to do with the overhang of the uh, tool than it is the actual overhang of the crank itself. So uh, let me get this over one more time and then we'll uh, make one more pass here. So at this point now I can start sweeping it back and forth and hopefully eliminate some of that chatter. there we've got it pretty much completely round. I need to take it down a little bit further, but I think I'm going to have to put a new insert in my tool here. I think that it's uh, uh, been used quite a bit in the past and may not be real sharp. But uh, at any rate, that shows you how it's done. Um, <clears throat> I'll uh, stop the camera and uh, we'll tune things up a little bit and then we'll uh, take it from there.